This is Late Night Help. This is the radio show that cares about the most important part of your life, your health. During the next two hours, we're going to explore you and me, along with the insane Daryl Wayne, a variety of health issues from dating online and why having companionship is important to taking a look at stem cell research and actually what stem cells are doing right now may not be legal in this country but we're going to take a look at it anyway all right we go to new york city and we speak with our friend anita kovac she's been on the show before she is an online dating expert with anatasiadate.com and asiandate.com anita welcome back to late night health Thank you for having me. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, let's talk about dating in general. Is that fun? I haven't been on a date in a number of years. Is dating today fun? It used to be it kind is. of. It is fun, uh, and especially international online dating scene. It is here, and it's here to stay. Um, it has become part of, of today's culture. I mean, we are using Internet for everything, for shopping, for entertainment, for work. Why not online dating? For travel. Especially, yes, <laughs> yes. Right. <laughs> Thank you. That's You're a good welcome. one, yes. Yeah. Great reason uh, as well. I mean, it's, um, it became a part, essential part of our everyday life. Uh, people are on their hectic schedules. We live in this fast-paced society, and nobody has, unfortunately, time anymore to, you know, go out there and, and search for their dream companion. That's why people turn to online dating, either international or domestic one, because it definitely provides uh, an opportunity to people to increase their chances to find that ideal companion. What percentage of people who meet online hook up for life, or at least for a few years? You know, in our well, our serial monogamy uh, society, I would say that uh, I can, I can speak for our sites, Anastasia Date and Asian Date. Um, we have a very successful rate of people who do get married internationally, it is worldwide. It is worldwide. We're, we're, um, we are international dating uh, sites, uh, Anastasia Date and Asian Date, and we are mainly connecting members from United States with members from Europe and Asia. And I must say, it is really easy and, and convenient. And really, it's never been easier to communicate with people halfway around the globe. So there are I've, no geographical restrictions or communication. Well, the, if, if I found somebody on uh, AnastasiaDate.com, for example, who mm -hmm. lived in France... You know, one of us yes. has to have the bucks to uh, to come either here or there. Well, it's up to our members. We never uh, uh, interfere uh, when it comes to their um, conversation and, and relationship. Uh, it could be it could start with friendship. Uh, most of our members start chatting first, and then if they like the other person, they take it to another level. We provide our members with a video chat, and I think that's truly helpful. Uh, um, communication wise. Why would they? And then I guess the most important step uh, is if they decide to meet up and who's going to come where and where they're going to meet up. Got but it. yes, there are plenty of success stories and uh, we are happy. Of course, of and they are too. Uh, video <laughs> chat would seem to me that that you couldn't you couldn't hide much. Okay, uh, yes. I re I remember. Years and years and years ago, a friend of mine uh, who I was working with was looking online for love. And mm -hmm. he met a woman, and they traded pictures, and they talked about their kids. And unfortunately, when they did meet, that it would um, – when they did meet, it was um, not what he expected. Mm -hmm. And, well, and, and I always, uh -huh. it, it, that she she used a picture of somebody else. Yes, I I agree. Video chat helps because uh, you know you can't hide it. <laughs> you <laughs> can't uh, pretend that you're something that you who you're not in in your real life. And I always say to our members, uh, no matter what, be honest. And 
uh, be honest about your relationship goals from the start because eventually you will meet up that person and then, you know, every mask will fall down. There's no need for that. In real life, meeting someone, you know, for, co- for a coffee uh, or through online dating sites, it's the same. It's very important to be honest. And what about the health aspects of meeting, of, of, of a- having companionship? I remember reading some statistics about men. Single men don't live as long as married men. <laughs> well, uh, I, I must say you're definitely a healthier person if you have someone, a love, a true love next to you, someone who will inspire you and motivate you. It's like... Uh, uh, someone who's providing you with a good energy to live by. I mean, we all need that. Um, and I believe there are a lot of, uh, plenty of strong single people in this world, but you know, how, how, there's a saying, you're stronger if, you, if it's two of you. <laughs> of course. Functioning, uh, functioning as one. <laughs> and, and what is the difference between AsianDate.com, AsianDate.com, and AnastasiaDate.com? Mm-hmm. Well, um, I mean, is it as obvious that, as I think it is? Yes, it's obvious. Uh, the only difference is that Anastasia on Anastasia dates, uh, most of the members are from Europe, and on Asian dates, most of the members are from Asia. That's and, the only uh, difference. And and what's the uh, the percentage of men and women? Is it about the same? Well, it, it's it's similar. It's a fifty fifty. It's about I 50. Mean, because, yes, because we are connecting members from the United States with members from Europe and Asia. So most of the uh, uh, male population is in the United States. And uh, women members are either in Europe or Asia. And I, I suppose that everybody has, um, I guess, their physical preferences, men and women. You know, some, yes, it's right? based on their... their uh, 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 preferences, you know, some some people uh, are interested more in different cultures to meet up someone from Asia or someone from Europe. So it's completely up to our members, you know, and that that's why Anastasia Date and Asian Date do exist, so we can provide our members with um, many more choices. Um, and uh, the fact that I've noticed, and and we did a um, a survey with GFK. Um, few months ago. It was a that, big study. It was an over $30,000 yeah. study. <laughs> yes. So nearly half of online daters say that finding someone to share their life with is a high priority, which outranks feeling in their careers. And uh, they listed companionship as one of the most important uh, uh, items that they are looking for when, when they're searching for their dream companion. 69% said companionship is on top of the list, then friendship and true love. And I'm going to, I have to ask the question, what about sex? Is that score in the top five or six? Uh... Uh, we didn't get responses on that. That was not part of our survey. Um, what I would believe you think? that companionship, would friendship, you... and true love might might involve that as well. But these are the things that uh, were listed as the highest item. Uh, our guest is Anita Kovic. Uh, she's an online dating expert with Anastasia dot uh, Anastasia date dot com and Asian date dot com. Uh, Anita, you um, thank and, you so much. And I just want to tell you that in our next hopeful interview, I'll get back to you with a exact correct uh, a percentage of our success stories. All right, we'll do that. The number that I gave you was on top of my head. Okay, that's which is which is absolutely fine. We're, we've got just a moment or two left to this segment, and then you and I are coming back for more. Okay, you're not getting yeah. out of this out of the hot seat so so quick. <laughs> How did you become an online dating expert? Well, I became because I started to work with Anastasia Date in Asia, uh, Anastasia Date, and before before these sites, I used to use uh, domestic online dating sites myself. However, I'm not on the market anymore. <laughs> Congratulations. 
Thank you, thank you. But you never know if the other side doesn't behave well. <laughs> Aha, he's been warned. He has been warned. Um, uh, and, w- w- and I'm a well-traveled uh, person, and uh, I know several languages. Five or six, I some, can't remember. Yeah, five. <laughs> five, okay, English. And you know, Let's, somehow I, I, I have a good empathy, and I, I know to understand uh, uh, people, people's needs, and... Throughout the years, I, I start uh, studying their needs and, and what is necessary to have a healthy, healthy relationship. And We're going to talk about the health aspect of dating, uh, mm-hmm. and I'm going to actually share some of my dating experiences from many, many years ago. Oh, yes, that's going to be painful, especially for me. Um, how did you meet? How do you before online dating? How did you get together? Uh, Anita Kovac from AnastasiaDate.com and AsianDate.com and I'll be back along with the insane Daryl Wayne as Late Night Health continues. Go to LateNightHealth.com, LateNightHealth.com. Look at our Twitter feed and all the information we have there. We'll be back. Don't go away.